Have you heard about the Jews of Kazakhstan? This is Alia News. Kazakhstan is the ninth largest country in the world. This majority Muslim country is still the unexpected home to roughly 2,000 Jews. Despite the country's turbulent past, during the 19th and 20th centuries, Kazakhstan became a refuge for Jews fleeing persecution. The story of Jews in the modern-day region of Kazakhstan is thought to have started with the Jewish merchants travelling across the Silk Road. Records of a Jewish presence in Turkmenistan start from as early as the 15th century. By the 1900s, the majority of the Jews in Kazakhstan were Russian, arriving as exiles from the Pale of Settlement under the communist rule of Joseph Stalin. The Pale of Settlement were designated places where Jews were permitted to live within the Soviet Union. Kazakhstan was littered with gulags and political prisons, a place of imprisonment, torture and often death. Among those exiled were Jews who chose not to deny their faith, which was in defiance of Soviet ideology. Kazakhstan, despite being an impoverished country, provided safety for Jews fleeing the Soviet Union. Anti-Semitism was not very prevalent and Jews could live a full life as part of society. The large number of Russian Jews who moved to Kazakhstan resulted in the majority of the modern-day Jewish population being of Ashkenazi Russian descent. However, the safety of Jewish life in Kazakhstan meant it also attracted those fleeing from persecution in neighbouring Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. Jews from these countries are called the Bukharian Jews, who trace their history back to 539 BCE, when King Cyrus conquered Persia, ending the Jewish exile there. King Cyrus allowed the Jews to return to Israel, where they promptly began work on the Second Temple. However, some Jews remained in Persia and over time moved further north into the Central Asian areas that today form the republics of Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. However, in the face of Muslim anti-Semitism, Bukharian Jews were struggling to practice their faith and culture. Many Jews were encouraged by a visiting Moroccan rabbi to go to Jerusalem, resulting in many making Aliyah. As early as 1917, there was a Bukharian Jewish community in Israel. However, a smaller number chose to remain in Central Asia and eventually moved north into Kazakhstan, fleeing persecution. The same was true during World War II. Over 8,500 Jews found refuge from the Nazis. These desperate Jews came from across Russia and Russian-held Poland. 1989 marked the fall of communism in Europe, and just two years later, in 1991, Kazakhstan gained independence from the Soviet Union, opening the floodgates for Aliyah, and many thousands of Jews decided to grasp the opportunity for a new life in their national homeland. In 1989, the Jewish population in Kazakhstan was over 19,900 people. But by the early 2000s, due to immigration to Israel, the figure had dropped to around 4,000. For those who stayed, the repercussions of the Soviet regime could still be felt amongst the Jewish community. The Jerusalem Post interviewed a young Kazakh Jew, Vladimir Goldfield, who made Aliyah to Israel in 2014. He reflected on his childhood, saying, Almost all of my knowledge about Judaism and Israel comes from the centre established by the Jewish agency. It was here that we learnt about the Jewish feasts, Israel and Jewish history. He says that people in his parents' and grandparents' generation were afraid to admit their religion 
and many of their children did not know that they were Jewish. Since the 12th of April 1992, Israel normalized its relations with Kazakhstan, and until today it has a local embassy department representative in Almaty. There are about 2,000 Jews in the country, with the largest group numbering about 1,000 living in the city of Almaty. Each year, members of the Jewish community choose to immigrate to Israel, and our team have the privilege of helping them on their journey. Just recently, our local team were able to facilitate a group of five Olim from Kazakhstan who made Aliyah to Israel. They came to Almaty to get visas, receiving help from the Ministry of Ebenezer. We provided financial assistance, transportation to the airport, and helped them with their 12 big bags of 20 kilograms and three bicycles. This brief history displays how turbulent the social and religious security and freedom was for the Jewish people in Kazakhstan. Exiled from the surrounding nations, the Jewish people found refuge. However, this was only a temporary solution. Many saw that the only nation in which they could truly exercise religious freedom and Jewish identity is in Israel. It is this reality which has brought thousands of Kazakh Jews to make Aliyah and continues until today. He will restore you from captivity and have compassion on you and gather you from all the nations to which the Lord your God has scattered you. Even if you've been banished to the furthest horizon, he will gather you and return you from there. And the Lord your God will bring you into the land your fathers possessed and you will take possession of it. He will cause you to prosper and multiply more than your fathers. If you're interested in supporting the Aliyah in your nation or around the world, please contact us via our website, ebenezer-oe.org. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. See you next time.